Hello, my fierce Graffin family. It's Fall Graffin here, and welcome back to another adventure with me. And welcome back to Stormworks. Um, I decided to do this on Tuesdays now and Saturdays, not Wednesdays and Saturdays, because I was so eager to play again. Because I got a special vessel for you guys. It's very awesome. I recommend you try it out. There's, um, the weirdness of it, though, um, when it comes to special vessels, vessel, blah, 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 when it comes to special vessels, um, there is the weirdness of it. Oh, yes, the weirdness, um, but I know how to solve that problem. So, this is a game where I have the boats, and then there's also a game where you can make stuff, you know, build, build anything you want, you can rescue or do something like deliver you know um my purpose apparently according to what i do and regarding what i do is i try to do the point of this game but every time i get on the ship it sinks so let's hope this doesn't happen but anyways let's get started so oh no 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 I'm not letting the game have its satisfaction again. Okay, I recorded another clip in. The game crashed because I was trying to respawn it, and apparently somehow the game crashed, and I don't know why. It didn't crash when I tried respawning this before. This is a very easy computer for the game to crash. The game crashes easily on this computer, when ironically the Mac is slower than this computer, it, does, it crashes rarer on the iMac for some reason. Um. But anyways though, as you can tell, welcome to the research vessel, RV Calypso. This is a French research vessel, um, and yeah, it is really cool. I just want to point out the interiors when you go in. You gotta be thankful that this ship exists in Stormworks. Um, the Geronimo, this, this is, that's the guy who made it, um, got to close it as close blah, 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 blah. As close as Calypso as possible. He used some book for the interior, so thank you so much, Geronimo. Um, I don't hate you from the engine start procedure, and that's why I also forgot to mention the engine start procedure. I want to warn you if you're getting it, ask for help. I can help you. I'm Geronimo, can help you. I took notes of the engine start procedure. Um, um, as far as I know, um, ask me or Geronimo. Well, actually, no. I'll send a link in the description for a tutorial in case you forget um, how you should drop those engines. Unless if you take notes. Because you're wise. Like that. But some cool features of this thing is that it has a bulbous bow. You can actually go inside. You can tell because there's windows. And you can, there's space. And there's a ladder. And there's a hatch. It's supposed to be some observation chamber. And then she also has like... A wooden hall, um, while she was built in the 1940s, um, I guess it was, like, preferred for modeling fest, I, I'm not sure exactly, um, but, um, she was, um, at first a minesweeper for Britain, and then later becoming a Maltese ferry for some time, and then a French research vessel, Calypso, owned by a, um, a person with law jobs, um, a French person, Jacques Vies Costo, um, sadly died in 1997 at 87. Um, he made lots of films and and there was a lot of photographs on this thing. It was the most photographed and filmed vessel um, besides the Titanic, which obviously sank in 1912 from an iceberg. Um, so yeah, let's get on there and get those engines started. Have a tour of it uh, as long as my game does not crash again. So I'm just making sure there's um, no missions. Um, I'm not going to jump this time because sometimes when I jump on vessels, it tends to keep me from jumping. And that is like one of the most important things when it comes to storm marks. How are you going to get over like this thing if there's like a raised threshold? And that's what made me have to respawn the ship um, until, you know... Until the ball happened. No, I didn't finish that. But here's the engine room. 
it is very complicated but I will show you the steps if you're wise you should take notes bear with me I have notes as long as the recording does not end um, this is gonna be a bit tricky well I know the first part of it however um, I know to turn on these auxiliary engine starter batteries um, this way all this does is it powers it gives power to um, the engine start procedure that's all uh, and then the room next to it is the plant this is that's where all the power takes place and then you want to turn on one of the daily use tank valves I love using the port one you can use the starboard one if you want it doesn't really matter but just one of them and then what you gotta do is um, basically turn on the GM gener generator motor um, 2 71 ignition and there will be power coming in if you get power um, that's good and then hold on I took notes what's to do exactly um, turn on cutting for blue generator and breakers for blue uh oh yeah the blue panel it's supposed to be able to get all right we're gaining power that's good So now we go into engine room annex, or you can also call it the plant, that's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> uh, make sure it can still jump. Here, this, um, all this powers is the engine room. This will help you start up your engines. So, you want to turn this on, or maybe this on, it does first, it doesn't really matter. But then, um, you turn the breakers on and as you can see we have available power now what's the next thing to do I keep forgetting but that's why I took notes out straight air compressor turn off water cooling drain see just valve for both sides all right so we got to turn on the air shark compressor this is what you need to start your engines and I'm not sure whether um, all the power is lost um, all of a sudden or not but yeah though most of this um, episode is probably going to be from engine starting. Yes, sir. And it's going to do that for a while. It's going to keep stalling for a while. It's fine. It's supposed to do that. Um, it will stop when once that says 10.42. Um, but you don't have to go all the way at 10.42. But I go at 10.42 just for two measures. As you can see, it is starting at the time. So then you want to turn this off on both sides um for fresh water I guess uh start with the chest valve same for port side turn off this you don't want to turn on that but you want to turn on this port C chest valve so as you can see um that's going up that's a good thing um and then I believe the next thing is um Turn on main fuel tank valve for both sides. Yes. And notice you only have one of the daily use tank valves on. Only have one on. Do not turn both on. You can have the struggle one on. Port one is not required, but like just one of them. But you want to turn on the main the fuel tank valve for both sides. That is. Um, and then the next thing, hold on, I took notes on this. Again. Mental air start compressor which is 10.42 you don't have to reach exactly 10.42 but I do um, honestly ask your own mo where you should where you should start doing other stuff with what number it should um, be recommended to reach but I um, try to go on the max just in case so the engines get them get a lot of their air so um, I'm just gonna wait a bit. Um, very, very complicated shit. Something is that you don't turn on all the keys. Like you don't turn on that generator. Or that. Yes. Um. Oh, I was gonna do this in the Arctic. I'm so dumb. Yeah, I might have to go to the Arctic next time since that's fun with this maybe off recording since I already did this boat oh 
you can stop that means it's reached 10.42 once it reaches that it's gonna stop because you know it's gonna do that for a while I, uh, I might have to do this in the arctic next time maybe not on recording but like since I'm already recording this um, kind of be boring if I did the same exact ship you know and that wouldn't be fun so now therefore um I'm still gonna turn it on because why not? Turn on field cut off for both sides, um, both sides of the engine, and they are right here. The fuel cut offs, just turn them on is all, and then yeah, both sides. And sure, they are on, and they're not. There's not a lie in them. <laughs> and then I normally like to start with the sharper one. Um, Turn on one of the air strain valves at the engines and make sure it's working. So make sure it's working. And then the air compressor, sh blah, 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 blah. and then the air shark compressor um, is going to drop. Actually, it's gonna um, restall again. It's a, it's gonna have to do that. It's gonna do that. It's inevitable. It's supposed to do that anyway. It's, so don't worry. So now the air strain valve. And then let's make sure it's working. Go here to start controls. Well, our dials you got RPM there, you got temp going up, and then you got fuel pressure, which is supposed to get at like around 12 to um, high 11. I believe I'm not sure exactly what it is. And then, yeah, that's perfect. So, far. Um, we gotta put on the generator car. If this takes too long, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to show you the steps. Alright, this video will be as long as possible. I don't care. <laughs> Uh, and then, down during car and for it, yep, when air strike comes back up, you may turn the compressor off, but the same for the other engine, yep, do the same for the other engine, and you can also turn the compressor off, it doesn't need to be on all the time, that way you don't have to hear it's annoying, bah, 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 anymore, <laughs> so we gotta wait till it gets to 10.42, it's supposed to do that, um, yeah. I wish I were at the Arctic right now, that would be more fun. Actually, since we're like down here, there's actually a room down here that does kind of look cool. The dark room or film storage. This is awesome. Like, this is full of probably books and movies, like videos, that were taken by um, Jacques Cousteau. Like, on her from the 50s, I believe, to like 1997. And sadly, however, um, she wasn't like um, a complete loss, but she had a bit of a sinking. Um, when oh, the compressor stopped. Um, when she collided with the bar, she kind of listed a bit. Oh no, 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 game, stop. She kind of listed a bit, and yeah. Uh, and then now they're trying to repair the um, car. Um, yeah. Both crew members escaped, which were the only people on the Calypso at the time. There were only two crew members. But anyways, um, that's on. This means we can start the... Yeah, the port engine. So, yeah. But just because you started the engines doesn't mean it's over yet. It doesn't... And not saying yet, it just had to put up the draws and boom, it's moving. There's, got, there's a bit more of switches you gotta start up. So now let's turn on the air starting valve for this engine. As you can see, um, we got RPM, and then yep, send that again. Oh, actually, yeah, we don't need the sun anymore. It doesn't really matter. It's gonna stay at like 3.92, I believe, somewhere like that. Um, you got the temperature, and then you got fuel pressure. This means you can turn the generator cutting on. Oh, there you go. So now you have power on from the engines, and according to my notes, go to plant and turn on to generate cuttings and leave the lonely one off. The lonely one is supposed to be for this generator. It's so like conserve fuel if you're like or something like that. Um, yeah. And the reason why is because it's not ready. <laughs> you need to turn on that generator 6-71 first. Um, but these ones are ready. 
so we can go ahead and turn on the starboard generator cut-in and we have now half some power and then the port generator cut-in and then you turn on these breakers as you can see we have power oh i forgot to test the lighting yes we have lighting i'm turn on turn it on for both of them never mind my fps in case um you think um, i'm uh, I'm gonna start lagging a bit because there's too much lighting on. Um, don't worry. Don't worry. Um, I have a very fast computer. It's a very fast one. So now I should be able to sh s turn this off, and we should still have lighting, which is a way you can test if you still have power. If you or I mean, if you have power, you still have power. Um, yeah, perfect. We still have lighting. A lot of notes. Turn off the generator 2 7 1. Um, you're supposed to have a fuel shut off on there, um, but for some reason it doesn't exist on this version of the Calypso. So, yeah, all you have to do is just turn it off. And whilst doing that, um, I don't know why it keeps on going all the way to the top. Um, turn off these. Yep, and then we gotta turn this off. You don't need that anymore. And then this is really important, but which if I'm not sure whether that's like excess something or like it keeps you from catching a fire. And then you can turn off the auxiliary engine starter batteries. You don't need them whatsoever. All all they're for is um to to basically um start help um help you out with the generators without that um you can't turn on the generators see um that's off but if i turn this on see yeah um and turn on the freshwater distiller um, just in case you're out in the Arctic, you know, here's all that. It does take up a lot of power, so it can black out. This vessel can black out if something, um, interesting, more like, happens. So, like, sinking. Um, yeah, it can happen. Um, which might be kind of cool. So, yeah, and then, uh, we're here, if you pump. There's supposed to be some separate pressure in it already, but for some reason, it kind of delays for me. I'm not sure whether it, um, this guy used, um, the older Calypso, or newer Calypso, I forgot to install some stuff on her. Duh! I hate remembering. <laughs> is that separate pressure? Um, this isn't really important, but, yeah, though. Let's turn this on, the water here, feed pump. And next, if you want your meat and vegetables fresh, not really, but just for the sake of roleplay, if you want them, like, fresh and all that jazz, um, you have to go turn the refrigerator compressor. In order for that, you need some power. So, yeah, it's gonna be a very long video. Um, so, we got that on now. Therefore, we can turn... So, another... Not... Blah, 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 blah. Not sure whether this powers both the fridge and maybe like some speed for the engines excuse me but uh, and then next thing is turn on engine clutch and transfer engine control to bridge on both engines and then finally turn up throttles for both engines to the bridge also turn on um, the ventilator fan I'm not sure whether that makes the ship go faster or not but just do it <laughs> Wait, are we getting temporary pressure Nope, we should be getting some soon. Um, yeah, no. I'll turn this on. That way, um, you have control to start the ship from the bridge. Uh, and boom. And then, I forgot to take notes of the, on this one. I'm not sure whether this is optional or not. Engine room, ventilator, fan. And yes, it's gonna make a funny noise. Deal with it. I've actually seen, I've actually had a ship where there's an engine room, it makes that oh, oh, sound. No, that sound kind of scares me. That's why I want the engines on already, that way it makes me feel better. 
there's utter sound fighting it. I mean, I sometimes hate that noise, you know, it kind of scares me. <laughs> and there's, oh, we kind of turned a bit. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I think the Vanillaire fan, I'm not sure what her, um, um, it makes the ship go faster or not, because when I didn't have it on, it kind of went a bit slower. But then when I had it on, for some reason, yeah, it went much faster. So, we can turn on both engines, either this button, 5 or 6, if you want to go in reverse, or just these. I'm just going to do it in the fancy way, and just do this way. But they're both on at the same time. And as you can see, we are moving. It is kind of a funny ship to start. Start it up, but yeah, though. This video is going to take an hour, probably. Don't care. You'll fit. It means more content. Um, hopefully I've taken notes of that, um, um, I will also, um, if, in case you prefer it for some reason, even though I showed you it, um, as well, I will also send the link, um, to the tutorial, well, as well, um, so a suggestion I, um, um, something I suggest to you, um, Geronimo, you don't have to get rid of this Calypso, but I think you could probably maybe, like, make a Nerd Calypso where everything's exactly the same, but some of the stuff in the engine room and plant is, like, cosmetic, and all you need to do to start the engines, and you already have all the power on, uh, and so all you need to do is start the engines. Um, you s need to press, like, the ignition button, that's all. Just for those who just can't take like the engine start procedure, you no, know, even if like they follow your footsteps, it might not for some reason work. But nevertheless, this thing is startable. It's possible to start her up, um, in spite of how complicated it can be, um. So yeah, that was literally 22 minutes of a video, just starting up engines. I mean, to be fair, it's a very um, hard start procedure. Um, you need to work your um, stern off to get them going. It'd probably be a bit more complicated um, in real life, but I'm thankful that it's not as complicated as it could be in real life. I don't know why this rudder is sticky. I suggest we're not being a sticky, um, that way you're not constantly turning, you're not forgetting, and I don't know why it's the rudder dominator. They're not sure whether the rudder was a sticky or not, and the dial for that was down there or not, but if it was, uh, keep it, I guess. And, oh, yeah, um, we need power for this. <laughs> yeah, it still doesn't work. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm done. And now we can turn this on. That should be turning on very soon. It's just some radar, is all. And we also got power in here. This is supposed to be... One, I think I need to sneeze. Okay, nope, never mind. <laughs> Have you ever remembered that time where you just... You think you're about to sneeze? You're about to seize, but then you don't. I hate that sometimes. So I'm just already. NASA satellite image receiver, yeah. Um, first of all, let's turn on these lights. It's supposed to be the radio room. Not just the radio room, uh, apparently. A room full of loads of things. Sure, why not? And they come for the enlarger. This is supposed to be a baby octopus. And then you also got a send image button. Here you can uh, send an image on the on this fax machine. Um, it's supposed to be Maryhead fax machine. 
Mure, my mirror head fax machine. Ah, we also do fish trans transducers. See that? Yep. And got Ness uh, cell image receiver. Jeez, you need like turn on like power for everything. Separate power for everything apparently. I'm careful if you want need to turn. That's gonna keep you from turning. It's a hard landing from max gen control. Heading hold. Engine room. You can call the engine room. Uh, let's also turn on this. These lights. Never mind me. It won't lag. Um, and I'm not turning on those lights. I can try to, but they're just gonna automatically turn off themselves for some reason. Yeah, but this is supposed to be the bridge. We are currently going 11 knots. As you can see, I had the ship for quite a while. Don't know why it wouldn't start, and then I started hating it because I could just couldn't start. I just hated the whole entire thing itself. Um, so then I learned um, it was a very special ship, and I was wrong about it, and I started liking the ship. Um, yeah, though. I just say that first because of the engine start procedure. Ugh, it was so hard. I just got so stressed out. And now here you have, yeah, you have um that thing. You got cargo hold and anchors. Not sure how exactly you make them come back up because one time I tried this, um, they never return. Nope. Oh, I'm dumb. Yeah, observation and chamber hatch. Don't stand up at like a certain place. You will get stuck. Maybe not exactly stuck, stuck, but uh, look at that. I'm in the bulbous bow. Believe it or not. Believe it or not, I'm actually in the bulbous bow. This is awesome. Yes, alright. So I guess that's for like observation underwater without getting yourself wet. And I'm kind of a dumb person. I didn't know these were here. I'm assuming that pulls the anchors back up. Yeah. Here, over here, yeah. Ship's bone scribe J 826. Oh, that was the name. 1942. Um, Bell. One. The button doesn't actually exist, but it does exist at the same time. So if you go here, you can press it. It's like, it's like you're actually like touching the bell. Pretty cool. Don't know what that is, but that's there. And that exists. And over here, you got a decompression chamber or a high repair chamber. Actually, I'm not sure exactly. I think it's supposed to be like. I'm not sure what exactly it's supposed to be. If this is like for. If this like. Um. Tries to cure you from like decompression sickness. Or do you just die? It's like, okay. You just waste your life. Don't know what this is. Probably something for like fish. And then you got a diver's cabin. And skipper's cabin. Here you got cabin for the divers, and here you got cabin for skippers. You got a vanity light right up there. It's pretty nice. You got one of those cabins, and oh, on the port side, um, you also have that port motor room. Don't know what this is for. It's here for a reason, probably, and I like it because I can't like it, or I like it or not. And then down here is more of like crew accommodation. Um, this is supposed to be the captain's sitting room. With that room on the right leads to the captain's cabin. If I can get in here, that is. Turn on the lighting. Oh. Okay, that was weird. Got the sitting room. This is where you can sit. Very awesome. Captain's wardrobe. 
Yes, yeah, thermal clothing and scuba gear. Thermal clothing reminds me of freaking to do this in the Arctic. Ship, and now it's three minutes. Whatever, long or short, I'm still doing this video. Meanwhile, it's actually supposed to be Captain's wife's bunk. Which actually is John Lighting. And this is supposed to be Captain's bunk. And here you got. Okay, I just I'm gonna draw with the other key button for some reason. Magic. You got a bathroom right here as well. And yeah, I'm assuming the captain's supposed to be Jacques Cousteau. Exactly. Um, yeah, oh geez, that's a lot of doors. Those doors this door, mind you, it leads to the plan. Um, which we have been. This is supposed to be the galley. And this is where you're gonna have to cook your foods and then get them from the refrigerator and freezer, which is powered on. And then you also have. Oh, that doesn't work. Here is also the mess hall. Um, I remember that. I remember. Uh, 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 Armada Argentina General Cambrone That doesn't have a name the Places we've been to and stories we've told I'm not sure which one of these have a name My It's a notable Okay never mind. <laughs> uh, and then we Leave that and then This inside here is supposed to be Oh god. Uh. Again. Here's yeah, supposed to be the diverine. Blah, 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 blah. It's supposed to be the diver prep room. Um, here you got deep diving gear, locker, which kind of lives up to what it is a locker because it it's locked <laughs> not sure whether that door is gonna open or not they're open what about this one also locked perfect <laughs> oh look at that you got scooby gear right here i didn't even know this i never know this that leads to the engine room that leads to the engine room which we have been in Back here, you have like this cargo hold. Which I have to hold hatch dog. It's called dog, but okay. and we got like, some yumbo crane. Yumbo. Um. So yeah. The ways to power the crane is you go down this aft hold, which I'm gonna go down in the fanciest way possible. Get in there by this, cause I'm weird like that remember that I'm always weird I'm a weird person and this is supposed to be the aft hold oh there that's where your daily use um fuel tank valves are supposed to come and take place from you know the port daily use tank valve and starboard one would we turn on one of them as you can see we need that on and a yumbo compressor on and yeah this is gonna turn the crane on, I believe. Yumbo crane travel lock. Down, which I don't know why it's damaged. Let's hope it's not truly damaged and it can actually come up if it would. Would. Yep, regardless of damage, it works. Reverse. I'm not sure whether that's how the French say it or not. Jump. Winch jump. No. Winch down. No. Winch. Winch jump. Winch. Winch up. Oh, and then winch down. Which, that's how you say winch up in France. Winch jump. Turn on and off. Um. I don't know like, how. What exactly. 
but that probably does something no no the slow switch in the world the slow switch in the world is probably that fire suppression system um up on this door that leads to the engine room that but you're still in the plant um yeah because i tried to turn that on it was so slow um the four cabin passageway yeah the four cabin passageway is a very big area very big spacing you got the passageway lighting and then wham and oh is this like a water fountain that's cool you got fire extinguishers love the detailing here you got the chief engineer and dive chief dive you got the chief engineer and chief diver cabin there is a cabin with two bunks first mate and purse's cabin um oh they got a typewriter as well and actually push and pull this chair er, push the chair in pull the chair out you can actually do that really awesome good full spongebob <laughs> and you got a cabin we'll go down there later on but you got a cabin probably for like um guests maybe some survivors need to be rescued got another cabin you got cameraman's cabin it's for the cameraman in case you need to take some pictures of like oh look at that floating whale <laughs> a main deck for a whole hatch dog I'm not gonna actually go in there just yet um but this is supposed to be um i'm not sure if cargo can be here or not but probably not <laughs> the cargo probably there's a door here leading to that door this is actually a little bit of a laboratory. So turn that on, laboratory light. And you can do some sciencey stuff. Microscope. Love the labeling. Love it a lot, honestly. Love the detailing, the head, all that. Basically, love it. And then you got wine cellar. In case you want some wine, it's there. And you also got a big, giant, bigger bathroom with um, some showers. I thought this was like a barber shop. <laughs> I don't know why, but I thought it was a barber shop. <laughs> it's a bathroom, definitely not a barber shop. We've got the head here, or toilet. Four peak paint room. Excuse me. There you go. Space is kind of an issue, but it's just. The nature of Stormworks, I guess. Here, I got the windows, and then you got the paint room. I'm not sure where to lose up to name. It's actually like all paint. But yeah. The, and here you got, I guess, the chain um, lockers for the anchor. Without that, how long is your anchor gonna even be? over here which I don't know why this door is already open but got cabin slash lower deck and thank you for being open already let's turn on the lighting in here um, turn on that switch light. um we got the walk-in refrigerator this is where you keep your refrigerator goods and it's 7.10 degrees Celsius perfect very fresh Walk-in freezer, your freeze goods, you got meat here, and it's negative 8.20 degrees Celsius, because it is the freezer, you're meant to be much colder than refrigerators. Refrigerators are meant to keep food stored, that don't require that much coldness in them, um, but yeah, though. You got the pilot's cabin and part storage. This is the pilot's cabin. Probably for like helicopter, which I also forgot to um, put on there because I forget to do everything. Absolutely everything. There is a helipad on the Calypso. Um, yeah, it's also part storage, maybe. 
case they're out of storage space. I need the most storage. Crew cabin. Bonjour crew cabin. Oh, they even got got currents and for privacy as well. Nice. Got a desk in there. And then, oh, what's in here? Oh, another crew cabin, except it's four. And they do got currents. Yes. They do, my friends. Um, no, over here, we have the four hole. This is where you truly, oh, so perfectly, truly keep your cargo. You can see that's cosmetic. And you got a oh, cold rudder gear storage, which I forgot <laughs> to, to go to the Arctic. <laughs> I wanted to do this Arctic because I thought it'd be fun. And um, that is on right here, Breaker. Not sure whether that actually works or not, but it's on, nevertheless. And you got um, cosmetic storage space. You actually got waterproof camera case so you can put that in the water and take pictures. No biggie. Colder gear, gear storage, and again. That's going to the Arctic. I don't know how many times I have to repeat myself. I don't care. And I'm assuming this is like thermal clothing all crampled up. This thing is definitely designed to be in the Arctic. And then you got a spare cabin in case you have um, some guests coming in. And maybe some survivors from like a shipwreck or something. Like maybe a crash plane. That'd be a little rude not to give them like a cabin. Uh, and then stepping out of the lower decks, um, that is actually all of the ship. Which it looks very big in the inside. Like, you know, when I look at a ship from the outside, I just think you can't really fit that much in it. But then when you go in the inside, you can actually fit so much in it. There's like the engine rooms are so big. You know, it's like it's bigger than the ship. And now uh, 42 minutes of recording this video without pausing because I don't know how to pause the recording. I don't think you're allowed to do that, which kind of angers me. Um, can I? Can I do that, Xbox? Because that's why I record out of um, this Xbox thing on my computer. Um, but that is actually all of the research vessel Calypso, which I used, which I sailed out to see three times. Why don't we, um, say, spice up things a bit. Let's go fishing for a Megalodon. I'm not sure whether this thing, people go fishing on this ship or not. Do they fish? Not sure whether people eat fish on research vessels. So if this thing does sink, um, it's gonna like go blackout and all the power's gonna turn off, which will kind of be cool. Megalodon is kind of um, what is it doing? Okay. Um. Oh no. <laughs> and in spite of and in spite of the power going out however um you can still open up the doors and all that jazz you can still do that i think the power doesn't go out out well it does actually go out out um, what am i saying like i tried turning the engines on though back on the ship wouldn't move when the power like when she went on blackout so it's like basically sinking is inevitable unless you tell it, which is exactly what I did, but off mm. Oh, there's a Megalodon right there. Oh no. Who knows how long this video is going to be? One hour, two hours. Most of it was basically, all of it was just from engine start procedures. And then the tour. Both the same exact time long. Okay, the same exact time long. There's a Megalodon right there. Wait a minute, we gotta sound the ship's siren. 
Now evacuate all the crew. Wait a minute, I'm the only crew member. Well, just for the sake of it, I'm still gonna turn on the siren unless the mate hits us and puts us on blackout. Which probably might happen. <laughs> Down the horn! Oh no 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 no! no 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 Um, I'm gonna head to that as fast as possible. It can go and black out at any seconds. Um, windmill. Why not? <laughs> Let's just go to the windmill. Oh no. No, 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 no. I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Chronometer? Is that like a, a way to just. You know what is where how where water is and how much water we have in the vessel. Come on. Alright, we'll make oh no 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 <gasps> We're in blackout. We just gone full blackout. Um Oh no. This is bad. Say, let's check on um, the damage. Let's check how much water is in here as long as it doesn't capsize. Yeah, you can still open the doors, however. Um, just because it's in blackout doesn't mean you can't open the doors. As a matter of fact, I mean, that mega is still there. It's probably gonna. I don't want the engine to get um, wet. But the asshole. <sighs> Ooh, that's a lot of water. Right, turn on as much power as possible. We need these um generators on stat. Turn on even the cannon for that. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, so believe it or not, last time I couldn't get the engines working, we're back in ship shape, I guess. Just turn on the fire suppression um, system, in case that happens again, unless if we can't because the switch is too slow. Ooh, that's a funny angle. Um, is she sinking again? Well, well technically, kind of. Well, my guy's kind of clear the way. I can go a bit faster. I can tell because I'm going a bit faster. Alright, 48 minutes of recording. Oh no, that's a lot of damage. The alarm's going off because I set it off. Our boat's gone, so I might die. Why do why do my ships always sink and then I'm just in the water without a single lifeboat whatsoever? All right, head to the island. Apparently, that's where the ship wants to go. No, not really, because I, I just said that. Excuse me. How fast are we going? Right, 10 knots. We're actually going at our same exact speed. Despite what just happened. Um. Let's turn that off, and then. We should, if I'm not mistaken, be heading to that island. Sidewise, that is. What if a tsunami were to come? Hmm, 
I wonder. Oh, oh boy, what a lovely day. Oh no. Is that a tsunami? Oh no, 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 no. Tsunami ahead! Tsunami de cote. I can't remember how to say that. How to say tsunami on a starboard. Side of the oh, tsunami de cote. Board. I'm just saying that in French because um, this is a French vessel. They probably spelled French. That's what that. I'm assuming. Since it's French. It's those French. They're all French. Maybe not all French, but. Uh, and we appear to be at a list of starboard. Not a big one. A small one is all. Wait, we're kind of right back up. We gotta have an angle dometer. That way we know um how far we're missing. Why do we have two clocks in like one place? Oh, local clock and ship's clock. Oh, that makes sense. So why am we have like two clocks in like one single room? Um, yeah. Alright, bat down the hatches. Bats in down the hatches. Don't know how to say that in French. It doesn't matter anyways. We need to bat down the hatches. The tsunami is probably gonna hit us. It's inevitable. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to be... Be a daredevil and just ride it. If it could go any faster, sorry about the slow motion. Don't know how to like speed it up because I think YouTubers are like sometimes like speed up videos. Speaking of speeding up, this thing, this video needs to go a bit faster because, um, sorry for the longevity of the video, but for reasonable stuff, um, Let's turn off that siren strength in there. Um It's like fifty two minutes of recording. Do apologize that this thing is gonna actually somehow be an hour long. Doesn't mean like thirty minutes long, but Oh, we have water. Kinda. Not really, but kinda. Strap side, crystal clear. Port side, lots of damage. So, I'm thankful we're listening to Strabo that way. Not as much damage as underwater. And what is it as strong steel? She has like a wooden hull. She was not designed to take damage, I believe. Here we go. The tsunami is about to pick us up. Oh no. Oh, it's gonna be ugly. If we're doing this on the diagonal side. Oh no. Oh boy. Yeah, we're rolling already. What does it look like out from the outside when it goes in blackout? Because it's probably going to go in blackout any second now. Oh no. Oh, look at that. It just went in blackout. Oh no. The cargo hatch is gone somehow. Where is it? The hatch for the cargo ha hold. It's gone. Um, oh no. Folks, we might just be sinking. Oh no. How is water getting in there? I close that. 
I guess it's not one of those like hatch the doors. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um. Oh, jeez. You do not want to see that. This is exactly the opposite of where water belongs. Water does not belong here. At least the bulbous spell is crystal clear, probably. Hopefully. Um, oh no, we need to abandon the ship. Right. Try turning the engine on once. I don't think it's gonna happen again. Again, guys. I think the engine was kind of a bit flooded. If you're asking me. Oh no, not that much. Alright, the third time's the charm. Oh no. Oh, we don't have that much power. Um. No. Uh, turn on the compressors. Turn on anything. Or. Oh, yeah, we started it. I'm dumb. <laughs> we just completely lost power. Maybe it turned. <gasps> Right, what's in here? Oh no. Oh no! Okay, that's I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. Oh no, no. I'm not dealing with that. How's the, um... So, open up one of the dogs. Which is actually... It's cold. Yeah, it's starting to drain out a bit, because I... Letting it spread to the engine room. Maybe we can even out the water levels. Oh, I don't think it's gonna come back on anytime soon. It's long gone. Oh, no. No. Leave the editor. You know what? I'm just gonna be savage and just spawn a million megs. I owe you a, a completely sunken ship, not just a partially sunken ship. I thought the game was gonna crash when I tried exiting the editor. I would have been livid. Because I'm recording for like 57 minutes so far. So again, sorry this video is taking like a long time. This ship is actually, believe it or not, taking a long time to sink. Whilst last time, it didn't take a long time. But now you're taking a million years to sink. Yeah, no, I'm going to open up every single door that war can get into. That way it sinks, because I want this to sink actually. Because it's no use. I mean, look at her. She She's going to sink anyways. She's lost all power anyways. I tried turning the generator back on. I tried getting her power back on. It was on for like a hot second. And then it came back off. So yeah, even from the port side. Although we're listening to Starboard. I'm going to open up every single... Iota of a door. As long as I don't get stuck, that would be bad. Even this, although um, I just automatically clips in. Oh, here comes Megalodon. And that's why I hate about these Megs. They just like sometimes just ignore me. It's like they're pretending I don't exist. Either that, or they're just blind. What if we spawn in our tsunami? Oh, even the tsunamis know what they're doing. Come on. What if we were to spawn in our tsunami? This time, with open up doors. This back hatch is still probably gonna flood. Either way, anyways, but like, I'm just gonna open up the other doors just in case it makes it flood faster. Because this sinks the slowest in the world. Last time it sank pretty quick. It just sank in a split second when I tested it out. See how it would sink. Like, I tested it um, yesterday. And 
it sank in like a split second. Right? So I don't know why it's sinking really slow right now, which we're exactly one hour into the video. Sorry if, for it being so long. Oh no. Oh, we're, I mean, we're currently in distress right now. We can't move. Um. Right, let's starboard. The Megalodons won't help. They're not even being an inconvenience to me. They're not even making the matters worse, which ideally they should be making matters worse. But ironically, although not helping, at least not making it worse, so maybe it's not that bad. So, I mean, we're above water. It's not like there's a nurse in Oh, Yeah, right. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Megalodons do something and don't just sit there. At least push me to that, like, island over there. That's the least you can do. I remember being on the Artemis, which is in our ship. I'll we'll have to show you sometime, but, like... Oh, no. It was, like, a very weird ship. I hope this microphone works, unlike last time. You know, when the thing happened, um, it's probably my longest video. Hello. Hey, Mom. Good. Sorry, that was my mom. Um, she's probably wondering where I was. Um, but anyway, so um, ignore that. Um, Probably my longest video. I mean, I had other longer streams, but there are streams. That's different. This is my longest video. Just one hour long. I am very sorry. If it hadn't been for that engine start procedure and that very detailed tour, it would have been shorter. But, alas, you can't argue with the detail in this. Oh no, the tsunami. Wait, is it gonna hit me now? Oh, well. It's funny, anyways. I was gonna say, of all the times you pick now, Meg, I was about to say, like, of all the times you pick now, when I'm getting tortured by a tsunami. And also, the ship's getting tortured by a tsunami as well. Ooh, it's kind of going a bit more in the water. We might be sinking. Could I also have like a sync button on this thing? Like all the- Oh, now you hit me! Now you hit me! Of all the times you pick now! I mean, I know this thing is kind of easy to sync, but like, could I also have like a skull button on this thing in case, like, you might want to do a syncing roleplay, even though it's gonna like go black out. That'd be cool though, if it would like black out and the lights could go out, that jazz. So finally, now you hit me, Meg. You pick now, of all the times. You ignore me, and now you... Now you hit me. Of all the times, you pick now. Okay, ooh. I think it Oh no, it's gonna sink. It's inevitable at this point. All the doors are open. I left all the doors open because I'm an idiot. But that's the plan, me. Being at the end Stormworks, because I'm always in the end Stormworks, and I actually need to get out of here. Come on, oh! Get out! Never mind, but looking at the ship sinking, survival's more important. Oh, there she goes. You know, I'm watching this camera mode. Oh, there she goes. With the list support, and with that, Eclipso was gone, apparently. <laughs> it's still hitting my boat. I hit sometimes when like Megalodons just don't hit my bow and, and they don't hit my bow at all and now they hit my bow as soon as I go in that tsunami and now it sinks as soon as it's one run in probably it's, it's probably required to be one run again very sorry don't care if I'm repeating myself um 
but there is a ship with loads of rooms flooded. Besides the bathroom, apparently, which Custo would say Custo was trapped in there. <laughs> I actually towed the ship off recording when it stopped. I was pretending that it was like in stress on that. And I was, for that, I was allowed um, to have one more voyage on the ship. I was gonna do it in the Arctic. And I completely disappointed them. And you know what? I deserve a punishment. I deserve to die for sinking the ship. I sank the ship. I spawned the maze, the tsunamis. You saw it, everybody. You can't hide the evidence. Well, <laughs> send me to jail. Actually, no. Send me the death penalty. I deserve to die. Also, um, happy not only new year. Happy new decade. The decade, um, the new decade is coming up. It's almost the end of this decade. We just got, um, a few hours left. Um, like half a day left on this decade. So, yeah. It's funny, because, like, although very long, like 10 years, it felt like this decade just never happened for some reason. Don't know why, but it felt like it never happened. Because I had so much fun, especially in this year. Um, when I got to go to the Queen Mary and all that jazz, I, w I went to California for like, um, a couple days. Maybe like a few days. Um, and the best part is that I got to record this video for an hour long. Because, um, YouTube's, oh, well, because time is a weirdo like that. But YouTube, YouTube it has nothing to do with this, but time's a weirdo like that. And the game tries to have some do something in mind that it wants you to do. Whether you like it or not, it's like whatever you want to do. The game, the game suggests you do something else. It makes you do it um, one way or another. My name is that has been Stormworks. I hope you enjoy the clip. So, if you want it, um. And go ahead, um, just click the link in the description below when I am um, at that. That is, there'll also be a link to the game as well, unless if it gives it a link itself. Not sure exactly, but yeah, though. I uh, I hope you enjoyed. And if you need help with the engine start procedure, either ask me or Geronimo. I'll we'll have a link to the tutorial as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Um, and another one hour video long, probably. But I will see you in a new decade. Bye bye.